all the angels rejoice over one sinner that repented. So we'll come out here. It'll be a million people out here. We're not expecting a million people to come listen. Because you know what our people love? They love lies. Our people love sin. Because sin is pleasurable. Sin feels good. No, I don't sin. I try my hardest not to sin. I understand what sin is. And I try my hardest not to do it. You know what our people love? They love lies. Right, right. Our people love sin. Right. Because sin is pleasurable. Sin feels good. No, I don't sin. I try my hardest not to sin. Right, right. I understand what sin is, and I try my hardest not to do it. Right. I don't sin. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't practice sin. I can say for certain, I don't practice sin. I'm going to show you why. Let me show you what sin is. No, you got, I got to practice because it's sin all around me. It's sin on you right now. Right. Everywhere I go, there's sin. There's right. temptation to sin. Huh? Right. What's on me? Righteousness is all on me. Right. Right. I'm, I'm clothed in righteousness. You see this beard right here? That's righteousness that right. I'm clothed in. Right. You see these fringes on my clothes? That's righteousness that I'm clothed right. in. Right. But I'm looking at you and I see the opposite. Make it play. That's my job, my sister. Give me out there 5081. Because you my sister, because I care about you. Well, you you ain't never been loved before. So I got sin on me, but you don't. You don't say, what sin How do you, you see on me? ain't been loved before. How you can say that? Because what the love is according to the Bible. Right. So have you been loved before? I haven't before I came to understand who I am. Okay, right. right. I haven't. I was not raised in love according to the Bible. Right. Now, sister, look, I, I know you're getting contentious, but we not. I'm not your enemy, sister. I'm not your enemy. No, I'm, I'm what? I'm backwards. I was raised backwards. Because you, you're doing better than what you was before, so now you try to down other people. How am I down? I'm lifting you up. You try to tell me I'm saying. I'm saying in this stuff. You Sister, you, you, you're not listening. Check this verse out. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. We, we know what the Bible says. This is what the Bible says. Cry aloud. Spare not. Uh -huh. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Sarah, listen good. Listen, no, listen to what the Bible tells me to do. And show my people their transgression. I haven't given you any judgment, my sister. You don't know what judgment is. No, what is judgment? That's not judgment, sister. That is not judgment. If I commit a crime and go to the courthouse in front of the judge, he issues a judgment and that looks like what? I gotta go to jail, sister. Did I send you to jail? I gave you some very kind and affectionate words. That was very kind. You don't know what kind is. Show the sister what love is. I need to understand what love is. Right. You don't understand what love is. And when right. I read it to you, you're going to understand that you haven't been loved. Bring and I up. understand that I haven't been loved according to the Bible. Yes. Yes. Read love for my sister. First John chapter 5 verse 3. This is what the Bible says about love. Read. For this is the love of God. I ain't talking about no, uh, I ain't talking about somebody hugging you, kissing you, telling you that you look nice. I ain't talking about that. Right. That's not what the Bible says that love is. Right. Read what you got. For this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. The love of God is to keep the commandments. Right. 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 Sin is the breaking of the commandments. Right. Right. So when I see my sister in sin, what would love do? Love would tell my sister that she's in the midst of sin and need to keep God's commandments. Right, right. Nobody ever did that for you, my sister. How do I know that you're in sin? Let me show you what sin is. How do you know I'm sinning? What is sin? Tell me what sin is. Uh, I'm going to let the Bible. I'm not telling you anything today. I'm reading, to the, I'm reading the Bible to you. Right. Give me 1 John 3 and 4. Come on. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Sister, sister asks, well, what is sin? How do you know I'm in the midst of sin? Read. Whosoever committeth sin, whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. Read. For sin is the for sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws, my sister. Right. You're breaking God's laws, my sister. You're in the midst of sin, my sister. 
The Bible says the wages of sin is death, my sister. Right. And I come out here to tell you I don't want you to die. Right. That's the best expression of love that I can give to you. Right. That's the only expression of love I can give to my sister is to prevent you from getting killed. Right. What you gotta do? Speak on my life now? Yeah, I want to speak on your life. About I can tell you about my life. I can tell you about your life. Okay, tell me. What do you, what do you like to eat? Tell me that. Oh, you say you know my life. Tell me. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll examine you based on what I see right here. All right, is that fair enough? Based on what I see. All right, I'm going to give you an example. Give me Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Because you see these things on the bottom of all of our shirts? Well, why do you think we all have these on our shirt? I don't know. You don't know. We're going to show you. Because the Bible just says that if we commit sin, that means that we are breaking God's laws. Am I right? That's what the Bible said. Read God's law. Numbers! Chapter 15, verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. We understand that we are the children of Israel. Right. You are one of the children of Israel. Read. Right. And bid them and command them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. That's what the Bible said, my sister. So if God told me that it's a commandment for me to have fringes on the bottom of my clothes, if I don't have fringes on the bottom of my clothes, I'm in the midst of what? Sin. Right. Right. So when I look at my sister and I see that she doesn't have fringes every day, all day, every day. Right. Right. Wake up, lay down every day. Right. Get up, go to work all day. Right. Making breakfast, cooking on the grill all day. Right. Working, sleeping, chilling every day, all day, every day. Right. Right. Bring it out. Because that's what the Bible says. Right. 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 And I understand I can't be in the midst of sin and still love God. I can't tell God that I love him if I'm still not doing what he told me to do. Right. So when I see one of my sisters and you're in the midst of sin, what is my job as your brother? I don't know. Give me Romans 6 and 23. Give me Romans 6 and 23. If, if, if somebody pulled out a gun right now and they were behind your head about to pull the trigger, as your brother, what do you think I would do? Because what? Because you don't think your brother would love you. You don't think that your brother, your own brother, would care enough to tell you to move, get out the way. I'm not down to you. I'm showing you what I'm preventing you from right here. Read what you got. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Sister, your life is my life. Sister, your life is my life. I've already applied that. I've already applied that. What we, sister, what we, what we come out here to do is show our people what the Bible actually says. I'm, how am I disrespectful? What's disrespectful about telling you what you got to do to get right with God? Right. Oh, I'm good. See, the, the, I mean, the issue that we have in our community is many of our sisters don't want to take accountability. Right. right. You don't want to take accountability. You don't want to accept the fact that what you're doing is wrong and you need to be doing something correctly. Right. You need to be corrected. That's the job of the men in the community. Right. Read what you got. For the wages of sin is death. My sister right here with the shirt. It said that the wages of sin is what? Is death. Did you, did you catch that? The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Now, as, as one of your brothers, if you were about to be killed, what would you expect your brother to do to, to help you? Somebody has a gun pointed to the back of your head. I'm not going to pray for you. What am I going to do physically? I'm going to help you. Right. I'm going to help get you from in front of the gun. I'm going to go fight the brother off. I'm going to make sure that the gun is pointed somewhere else. I might even jump in front of the bullet for you. Right. That's what love would look like, right? Now, if, if somebody got a gun pointed to the back of your head, I'm like, what would you call that? That's a coward. Now, is that love or is that hate? That's hatred. That's right. 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 But our people, re read that scripture again. For the wages of sin is death. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But when we tell our sisters what they got to do not to be killed, somehow we're being judgmental. Somehow we're being disrespectful. Somehow we are your enemy now. But I want your enemy if I was fighting off the dude that was about to shoot you in the back of the head. Give me Leviticus chapter 19. And now this is why I made the statement that I said. I said, we've never been loved before. We thought we had an understanding on what love is. But we have not had a biblical understanding of love. That's right. Right. The Bible tells us what true love looks like. Right. So if sin is going to kill you, what is my job if I see my sisters in sin? 
Huh? To protect? To protect you from the consequence of sin. Right, right. right. So if what you're wearing is sin and it's going to get you killed as your brother, should I just let you keep wearing what you want to wear or should I tell you what God wants you to wear so you don't get killed? Uh oh, you laugh. That's the accountability part. That's the accountability part. The black woman does not want to be corrected by the black man. Right. We come out here to tell you that what you're doing is wrong according to God and that we want y'all to inherit the kingdom of heaven with us and to fix it. That's what we're telling you to do. Huh? No, no. Muslims are Arabs. They wear turbans. They live in the Middle East. We're not Muslims. Right, right. Right. The Muslims had us in slavery. The white man had us in slavery. Right, Who right. are we? We are the Israelites. That's, right. Right. That's what God called us in the Bible. Right. Muslims don't read the Bible. They don't apply the Bible. They own the corner stores. They right. sell you the fried chicken and the Philly cheesesteaks. Right. We're not Muslims. Right. We're no more Muslims than we are in the white Christian church. Right. We don't support Muslims. So we don't support Christians. Huh? So you don't buy nothing from them. The Bible says that we got to purchase from our enemies. Right. right. The Bible says we got to get food from our enemies. The, the Muslims are our enemies. Read what you got, man. Read Leviticus 19. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Sister Sarah, the scripture says that I shall not hate my brother in my heart. That's what the Bible says, right? Now the Bible's going to explain what that looks like. What's your name, sis? Monica. Monica. So I got my sister Monica, I got my sister Sarah. The Bible says I shouldn't hate my brother or my sister in my heart. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So what does that mean, sister? To do what? Shouldn't cover thy neighbor. No, 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 no. Read it again. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Read it from the top. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So the Bible says, the Holy Bible, my sister, it says that we shall not hate our brother in our heart. And it's going to show us the opposite of hating our brother in our heart. And it's going to tell us to what? Thou shalt in any wise. Any wise means the opposite. So the opposite of hating your brother in your heart is going to be what we read right here. Rebuke thy neighbor. So the Bible says, if you, you, you can't hate your brother, you got to rebuke your brother. I cannot hate my brother, I must rebuke my brother. Right. So that means that if I don't rebuke or correct my sisters, then I what? I hate my sisters. Right. Wake them up. Finish reading. And not suffer sin upon him. That's what it looks like for me not to hate my sisters. I must rebuke my sisters. Right. I must correct my sisters. Right. I must not allow my sisters to stay in the midst of sin. Right. Right. That's what love looks like in the Bible. Right. Right. But keep reading what you got. Verse 18. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, uh -huh. but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Did y'all see that, my sisters? The Bible says I must love my neighbor as myself. Right. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to die for my sins. And the Bible says if I want everlasting life, I got to keep the commandments. Y'all sisters, have y'all been taught God's commandments before? Yes. Could, could y'all name some of the commandments for me? I'm trying to get a refresher out here. Uh, Help me out, my sister. Thou shalt not, not kill, thou shalt not steal. Okay, good. So look, if I kill... My brother right here, do I love my brother? No. No. All right. Now look, if, if my brother right here is about to kill my brother over here because they had a disagreement and I just let it happen, am I any different than the murderer? No. 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 I still hate my own brothers, right? right. Now, I'm going to give you another scenario. My brother here and my brother there having a disagreement. He's about to kill him. I'm like, yo, chill out, chill out, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. It ain't worth it, bro. Don't kill the brother. Is that love or is that hatred? It's hatred for me to tell him not to kill him. That's love. That's love. So when we come out here and we tell our brothers and our sisters to stop wearing pants, because God says women shouldn't wear pants. Right. Is that love or is that hatred? Love. That's love because God said it. Right. Because right. God said it. This is one law that was given to our sisters. All right, all of the sisters of the nation of Israel. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two, verse five. Uh -huh. The woman 
shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. God gave a commandment to our sisters that our sisters cannot wear men's clothes. Right. Our sisters cannot take men's clothes and make their own version of it and call it women's pants. Right. Right. That's what God said. Now, we don't care what the white man said. We don't care what DTLR got on the rack. Right. We don't care what Dillard's, Macy's, J.C. Penney got in their in they clothing stores in the women's section and they say women's pants. We don't care about that. Right. 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 What we care about is what did God say? That's right. And people lie to our people about the Bible. What do they say? They say everybody in the Bible wore dresses. All the men wore dresses. That is a lie from the pit of hell, my sister. Right. 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 We read about pants in the Bible. Right. Right. Right several times in the Bible right. Right? and they were created for the men right but God said read that again the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man uh -huh. neither shall a man put on a woman's garment right. for all that do so are abomination the Bible says no cross dress the Bible says there's no such thing as a man's skirt right can you accept that there's no men's skirts that's God's standard. And if you accept that standard, you got to understand and accept there is no women's pants. All right. right. That goes against God's standard. Bring it out. The Bible says that if a woman wears pants and a man wears a dress, you're an abomination. Right. Raise right. your hand if you want to be an abomination. Nobody wants to be an abomination out here. Right. Give me Revelation 22. Give me Revelation chapter 22. I want to know who's going into the kingdom of heaven, who's not going into the kingdom of heaven. Let me ask another question. Who out here wants to enter into the kingdom of heaven? Sister Sarah wants to enter. Sister Monica, Sister Wanda wants to enter. I, I can't see Sister Monica's hand. Do you want to enter into the kingdom of heaven? My sister over here with the face mask. Do you want to enter into the kingdom of heaven? All right, and we read the scripture on what God defines as an abomination. Am I right or wrong? I'm right, the Bible told us what an abomination is. You got what I want? Revelation chapter 21 verse 27. Uh -huh. And there shall in no wise enter into it any. So look, this is the book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 27. Everybody listen real good. It says it again. And there shall in no wise enter into it. So we're talking about the kingdom of heaven right now. It says that you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven if what? Anything that defileth, uh -huh. neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie. The Bible says if you work an abomination, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right. right. Does anybody have any questions about that? You want to know what that means? Who wants to know what it means to be an abomination? Anybody? I got two sisters want to know what it means to be an abomination. We're going to go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The Bible says nobody that works an abomination can enter into the kingdom of heaven. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Uh -huh. No woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So a woman wearing pants. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A, a man wearing a dress. Read on. For all that do so are abomination. The Bible says a woman wearing pants is an abomination. Right. The Bible says a man wearing a dress is an abomination. And the Bible, the same Bible, tells us no abomination enters into the kingdom of heaven, my sisters. Uh, that's right. So what does that mean for my sisters? That we should not wear pants? That you should not wear pants. Uh, that's right. And my sister got common sense. All praises to the Most High God. All praises to the Most High. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 